SoCal's very own NASA astronaut Victor Glover returns to his alma mater, Ontario High School today. The former naval aviator is set to pilot NASA's upcoming Artemis II mission. But today he was talking to students in Ontario, many of them wondering if they too have the right stuff. KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson is live with more on the return of a hometown hero and a nice story for you to cover today, Shelby. Very nice story. What's exciting about this is that this astronaut is from the Inland Empire, which is so cool. And that speech he delivered was inspiring. It was powerful. And I think everybody was thinking the same thing, that if you work hard, if you dream big, not even the sky is the limit. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. A moment in history. And liftoff of Artemis 1. And a step in paving the way for the Artemis generation to explore the moon and future missions to Mars. This was the first launched within the Artemis program last year, an unmanned lunar flight test. Now NASA's Artemis 2 mission is on the horizon. We're just the four people who are the newest members of the team trying to get a rocket and a spacecraft off the pad uh, as soon as we can safely to send humans to the moon for the first time since 1972. Victor Glover is one of the four astronauts chosen for the mission, but aside from working toward his otherworldly accomplishment, he took the time to come right here to the Inland Empire because for him, it's great to come home. Speaking before educators and students at his alma mater, Ontario High School, Glover delivering a speech on his hard fought journey to get to where he is today. But his grades didn't always live up to rocket scientist standards. He did pass, but he underperformed, and most importantly, he underperformed by his own standards. Glover's former AP biology teacher, who he still talks about today, says that drove him to sit in her AP biology class for a second year as an aide. His will to learn never wavered. He was energetic. He was curious. He had a lot of potential. The Pomona native later received a bachelor's in engineering from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo before becoming a naval aviator. The Inland Empire, we are right next to some of the most amazing aerospace industry. And when I was a student here, I didn't know that. At 37 years old, the husband and father of four landed at NASA, and at age 44, video just doesn't do it justice. He made his first journey to space in 2020, and this next time, when we fly by the moon, we'll be anywhere between two and 5,000 kilometers away. It's the next step in an ever-evolving journey, and one Glover says is possible for anyone. And if there's one main takeaway from this experience, it's this. Seeing Earth from a rare perspective as Glover has sitting in the vacuum of space, he's reminded of all the good that is on Earth. And I miss the Earth, everything you've seen, Shakespeare and Gandhi, Mother Teresa, every book you've ever read, every author you've known, every movie, it's all down there, all of history. A greater appreciation to be among the human race, so without any division or labels. We're all homo sapiens, we're all humans, we're all earthlings, and so as much as I can share that story and that perspective, I think it's important for us to find ways to feel together instead of the things that are trying to divide us. And the Artemis II mission will be a 10-day mission and is expected to launch sometime after next November. Reporting live in Ontario, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.